All right, we're back in business. This time I'm not going to stream. Screw streaming. Nobody likes streaming anyway. I'm just going to do it old old man style. Just record it and then upload it. Surprised when I get world record. I'm just gonna try this, see what happens. Oh my god, it does work. I was actually really suspicious of that. Of being like really random, but it turns out I just get it first try. My ears itchy. I have a disease. Maybe. Yeah. Because I'm pro. is like getting cramped. Man. 
just when I think something is going good, I do try to try to do something and it just fails. Story of my life. Alright, let me try this. This probably won't fail. Feels much faster. The reason why it was slower is because I'm an idiot and I jumped when I was supposed to, supposed to. forms of damage. All I know is that if I were to be on normal, I would be super good. I am driving with not caution. a little bit of time there. Alright, let's see how fast I can do this. is actually pretty close. Eight forty three, yeah. That's a pretty good run actually. <laughs> Not a lot of mistakes were made. Um and I actually was fairly happy with that run. Four second actually uh yeah for about four seconds shaved. <laughs> shaved. But yeah, I'm gonna make a creative mode guide um, just so people can understand how actually how to run the game um, in creative mode and the limitations of what you kind of have to do to run the game. Um, but for the most part, those those splits are okay. Um, I could have done a little bit better towards the uh, the lab cave, um, the cave going towards the lab. Um, I could have obviously not staggered on that first jump and even better I can done even better and actually um avoided that jump altogether and gone on the left side um that's another way of saving time but it's risky because sometimes the physics doesn't cooperate um I did the clip pretty fast for the lab um I don't know why I took two forms of damage when I jumped 
uh, to do the lab skip, but if I were to do it correctly, uh, some hypothesis way of landing so you don't stagger, that could save time. Um, past that, the little ele elevator skip was pretty fast. I don't know how or why you get stuck in the ground after going through that cave section after you finish the uh, lab skip. Um, I don't know how to prevent it, but I know how to get out of it, but besides that, it's just really hard. Um, and then a few things I might have bonked my head on to, save, to like slow me down by half a second. Um, but for the most part, the keycard cave is fairly good. Um, I'm going to have to try to use that skip more often where I just jump towards the position where the key card is and just land it on the bodies and not taking any damage because apparently that does save time um and then on the way to the sinkhole i think that's i think for the most part that's pretty much optimized you just try to pick the most straight line you can and hope you don't stagger when you jump down the sinkhole and just spam your way into the water section um but yeah There's not much else to go on about. I mean, for the for the most part, this this run is pretty much optimized, as to say. However, um, I'm sure there's a skip out there that has yet to be discovered to speed up. But um, if this time were to ever get drastically lower, it would be um, if a new skip has been discovered. Uh, and to tell you the truth, I don't have any ideas right now. There might be some out of bounds I can think of, but uh, for the most part, as long as the key card's still required to get to open that door, um, there's not much we can do to prevent that. We just have to race to the key card and then race back to the cave as quick as possible. Um, but if we don't find if we find a uh, skip to avoid getting the key card, then that would drastically reduce the speed run down to probably five minutes at the probably the highest because we basically you just want to jump down to the sinkhole get to the keycard cave do whatever form of exploit is available to avoid the keycard and then you just race to the uh race to the end and i would i think that would just take about five minutes to be honest it's really crazy. Pretty much butchered the game for quite a while. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with 843. 843 is pretty good. Um, I think it'll definitely be challenging to beat um, for runners um, that have already been running or new runners. It'll give them a good time to try to perfect yeah, thank you for watching um, this video. It was actually first try, first try speedrun world record. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching uh, quite a lot. Thank you.